Matthew Perry really dropped a bombshell today on SHIB and it seems like every time we talk about SHIB there is like new stuff to uncover. And that's a good thing in a way, like there's tons of content for Shiba Inu. But I do think some YouTubers are frustrated with SHIB also. Like I think that's also a problem. But it doesn't mean it's, it's, it's over for Shiba Inu, it just means it needs like some massive massive changes uh, overall with ship today so what's happening everyone i'm your host um hopefully you're all doing good you're all who doing well we're gonna be talking about ship and its potential future rises guys it's matt here so this is kind of a rant alert because i'm gonna be ranting about shiba inu the eco so yeah he's been talking a lot about shiba inu and some people have been saying and i just heard rumors it was just rumors again if you haven't already subscribed to this channel that bonk and I know I show Bonk a lot. I don't hold any Bonk, by the way. Might be overtaking Ship because it's doing a lot of this development stuff. It has... Now, that's one thing the Ship can't really change or is trying to change with Shibarium but couldn't do it really. It's half cheaper cheaper gas fees. So when Shiba Inu was at its bull run, the gas fees were $200 for one single transaction. Ain't nobody paying $200 for a single transaction. So I think that's where the big difference comes in. System dev team, everything that they've done... Uh, and just talking about whether we should have already seen Shiba Inu at a level of a penny or a dollar at this moment. So if you don't like these type of videos, feel free to click out now. I'm literally just making this video to talk. About so it seems like a lot of people agreed with his content because there was about 6,000 views on this rant. And that's a good part, I guess. Like, that's the good part about it. So there is good content overall. Like, there is... People that are still staying in Shiba Inu for the long term, um, all types of like honest, like excitement stuff about it. So I do think Ship will uh, recover. About everything that they have done and the fact that we could have seen this at a level of a penny or dollar. We could have. We could have seen this, but we it was like a really far shot because. If we saw a penny, we would need like million trillions burned, like literally trillions. We would probably need to ask all the whales to burn their supply if we wanted to see one cent. And then some people like paper hands would actually end up selling at half a cent because that would be worth like. So if you hold like one thousand dollars of ship, it would be worth one million for each person. Seen the supply that has been completely burned off from all of the things that have been created. So if this is a video that you're interested in, make sure you hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. If you guys want to start trading with Margex, if you want to start trading with up to 25x leverage on SHIB, up to 100x leverage on something like Bitcoin or Ethereum or BNB, feel free to use my link down below for Margex and you could start trading with uh, this platform. And it's really user-friendly, honestly. Uh, so definitely check it out. And... Um, you know, start trading Shiba Inu. So it seems like a lot of people made this, uh, are using this platform. New today. And but I want to hear what Matthew Perry has to say. I want to react to like actual content with, with Ship because I know a lot of content creators were actually frustrated with Shiba Inu Burns. They were frustrated with everything happening behind Ship. Everything was created. Everything that was created. You would say, this would be amazing if they were burning Shib in every single aspect of that. The idea, like the idea, was that they would burn ship everywhere. They would burn ship if you do this, if you do that. There would be a bit of ship burn, and then you would have like this massive potential of Shiba Inu burns. But it seems like this just wasn't happening in a sense. Like this just wasn't the thing that people were hoping for. It just did not happen, um, and I feel like that's where the problem arises. Uh, behind the ship community was to burn down the supply being able to make money without actually being able to get to a penny like people have made money they they made um what was it eight thousand dollars to like 5.2 billion dollars some people have made money people have made millions of dollars and they've made hundreds of thousands or anything like that they've made a lot of money um as shiba inu you know rose to this higher level and you know being up millions of percent so with that being said, there were people that made money, but there's also that end goal of where this can get to in the end. And, you know, 
um, decreasing that supply and getting to the actual level of a penny or getting to the actual level of... Yeah, uh, I agree with him. It was like more of an idea also like to burn Shiba Inu to a penny, but it's still a decent idea. And I think that's what a lot of people are excited about, like the idea of ship actually making a huge standby, the idea of ship coming back and saying, hey, I want to do a huge burn. Um, a dollar or two dollars or ten dollars or a hundred dollars, right? I'm not saying that that was within my mind, like, oh, we're going to get to a hundred dollars per coin with Shiba Inu, but it definitely wasn't completely out of the realm of possibility. I feel like there's still a 0.001% chance that... So there's a chance we get to $1, but with this like development we have right now, it's way too slow. So a lot of people are, in a way, giving up with SHIB. Like, why would they do the Shiba Inu burns? It just doesn't make sense for them. And I think this is where the real problem arises for everyone holding Shiba Inu. So that's the problematic part I'm seeing right now with ship. Like people, why would they just hold ship? They don't they don't have any reason to. That it could happen, right? We could see burns. So when we when I first um got into Shiba Inu and and saw the opportunity. So yeah, Matthew Perry, the reason why I react to his videos and watch him is because he's been in in, in Shiba Inu at the same time as me. So 2021 is where People really got excited for ship where people really started talking about ship where it got 46 billion volume and now it's like 46 times less. Now it's like 300 million volume on a normal day, but at speak, it was like 46 billion. Everyone was talking about ship and I feel like that's where the major crypto growth came from, like major Shiba Inu holders. And now it's just like left the whales that haven't sold and, and basically like investors who bought at a loss and it's, it's it's a fair scenario, you know. In Shiba Inu, uh, I saw the community first. I didn't see this dev team. I saw the community first, and the community was all about looking at that burn that Vitalik did and trying to mirror that um, at a smaller scale, but then collectively at a larger scale. That was really the mindset: was to basically do another forty percent burn or uh, burn off another. I don't know, 400 trillion coins or even more than that by just having the community do that and make that impact. Exactly. So they wanted like to say, oh, the community should burn the tokens. But a lot of the funding, a lot of the money was from the Shiba Inu dev team. And they said, oh, the community should like make incentives to make these burns. And they did, but it wasn't nearly enough. It was maybe like 20K, 10K there, 10K here. There was like a lot of drama in, in, in that as well. Like there was like a lot of people pocketing 100K USD, things like that. They really made a lot of money and they like burned all their bridges. I, I remember there were like a lot of people leaving SHIB a while after. And to me, it was very concerning, like in that sense, like a lot of people didn't talk about what actually went on in the crypto industry. Like these are the big differences. And to see Shiba Inu get up to multiple billions of dollars worth of a market cap, tens of billions of dollars, uh, damn near, what, $60 billion market cap is insane for something that really doesn't have any value besides investors being able to benefit. That's true. Like, it didn't really do anything that much for a lot of these holders. And I think that's where the big difference comes in, like where a lot of people were concerned, really from it and make money from it now this community that was built around it that was trying to build this uh use case um or build these use cases were trying to follow a plan to implement all of these other things that didn't really have a breakdown as to what they should do but in my mind i was thinking that every single thing that would be implemented would burn shit if we saw every exactly so this is a very fair point like the community did some projects like ship burn shiba inu game shiba inu store they did like some small projects but they don't really make that much of an impact in the crypto sense like they they won't burn like trillions that we need to see but if the shiba inu team did say let's we're opening a restaurant and we're gonna be burning like one percent of all profit we're gonna open up uh shiba swap and we're gonna burn one percent of all profit they just didn't care about it and I think that's where the real problem arised. Like people didn't care. Like the people working at Shiba Inu, they 
weren't that much worried about this. So I think this is where the real problem became um, in that sense, like where people became concerned. Single thing that they have built, burn ship, we would be at a level of a penny. We would be at a level of a dollar. Exactly. If they made like Shiba Swap NFTs, Shiboshi's NFTs, like would burn 10%. Like, let's say they would make Shiboshi NFTs. They would say the game would burn 1% of all the revenue. And what happened with the Shiba Inu NFT sales? Like, a lot of that probably went for the game that still hasn't released. So that's one thing. Um, and it, it makes sense. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. I don't know what went on. And I think that's the big difference, like why people are frustrated. Like they don't know what really happened. Um, and that's fine too. Like it's nothing is perfect. Shiba Inu isn't perfect, but it makes a very fair sense that the Shiba Inu is seeing right now like some some concern. It's seeing some concern. And my, this concern might not break Shiba Inu, but it's going to definitely make an impact. We might even be higher than that. The reason why is because it would create a huge impact, um, not only to see the um, price rise, but also the market cap and interest rise, the FOMO, fear of missing out within. Exactly. I think that's where the real like Shiba Inu holders come in, like that FOMO. I think that's what really keeps people at bay, keeps people excited in a sense. Like that's the real awesome stuff about it. Like FOMO is what really keeps people hyped up about the project and um i do think there's a possibility that shib will rise in the next following days but the real thing is like how can the community solve this um in a sense so i'll keep you guys updated with more stuff on that also like in the position would rise to an all-time high you look at things that they've launched right Bone. Bone has seen multiple hundreds of millions of dollars that have gone into that position. Multiple hundreds of millions of dollars. And they didn't burn much bone in that sense. Like the, not, not a lot of bone was burned. I think that's where people became frustrated in a way. Like that was a big problem for them in a sense. Leash. Uh, probably tens of millions, maybe even multiple hundreds of millions that have gone into that as well. You've seen the metaverse lands that have sold for multiple millions as well. Uh, you see Shiboshi's that has sold for whatever they sold for. I think they were like, what, one ETH a piece or something? I'm, I may be wrong. I, I didn't really fully get into that. But you're looking at that. Then you're looking at the partnership with John Richmond, partnership with Wellies. And if you could have implemented some sort of burn within there. He has a fair point. Like if he, they even did small parts... I think that would help a lot, but nothing really changed in that sense. Like they didn't make any changes um, in that scenario. And, and I think that's where people got seriously frustrated with SHIB, where Shiba Inu became, came for, for a downturn really. So that's the thing I'm also kind of frustrated with Shiba Inu. That would have also had an impact on SHIB. SHIB would have consistently been like this the whole time. Maybe we wouldn't have been at a level of a penny because of the fear of missing out as you see all the burning opportunity. But if they would have supported every single uh, level, if they would have just done research into not trying to take control of every situation, but saw, hey, this coffee company is, is burning. Let's so that's like pushing it out, promoting it. They just like said, okay, we're going to focus on our own stuff and there's going to be some side fan made projects. But we're not really going to be, you know, focusing on that at all. I think this is where the big problem arises. Let's go ahead and support what they're doing and push it out and let people believe that this is a part of this ecosystem. Because it is, right? It's the community. That's what it should have been. You look at the... That's a very fair point. Like, this is where a lot of people stayed around and where a lot of people also left um, in that sense. Like, where they left Shiba Inu because they didn't want to stay... Um, and they were kind of worried gaming and all of the gaming should have been, uh, adopted as well as a source to burn as a source to use SHIB as a source to whatever, um, the YouTube channels that were pushing SHIB and continuously pushing SHIB continuously talking about it and trying to even burn SHIB, which now you can't do because if you farm views, you get banned from YouTube. So yeah, that's the. That's the, I, I didn't understand this part he said. If you farm views, you get banned from YouTube. 
but either way, you were trying to do something to help out Shiba Inu. That would have been... So I guess you can't make like, if we reach 1,000 likes um, on this video, I'll, I'll burn Shiba Inu. Like, I guess that can't be done. And that's problematic, but it makes sense. Just light years ahead of things. There were coins that were created that are trying to burn off SHIB. Now that's the big importance about it by the impact. And if that was something that was supported by the team, I understand how, um, you know, things go south with a lot of those things. But the reason why they go south, the reason why things get into... I definitely think Shiba Inu, with the hype it had, with the potential it had, it could have made many development changes, but it took the easy route. Like, that's the difference. Like, the burns could have helped, or maybe they felt that the burns didn't help the price that much as people expected it. I remember them talking like... Yeah, burns are good, but they don't really help the prices that much. And I think that's also where the issue arised. Like, they didn't really want to do anything with these burns. They didn't want to keep them updated. They didn't want to talk about them. Nothing. Like, they didn't just... They just didn't care in that sense. Um, and I think this is where the difference came off. The sticky situations is because... They're not adopted by the community. They're not supported. You see all of the negativity. When people see down times, they resort to desperate measures. And I'm not saying that any anything that anybody did is, is right. But the point is, is that when you get neglected, you start going, okay, well, I don't need this community anyways. The community doesn't want me, so why do I? Exactly. Like So they end up like everyone that was working on ship, they ended up giving up. And I think that was the real problem. Like, they just didn't care about Shiba Inu. Uh, so I feel like that was worrying in a sense for a lot of people. Uh, and what I do see with Shib is it does have room for improvement. It does have lots of different changes. It does have, like, an opportunity. But we need to see it. We need to see it arise. Why? need to support this community when you have people in the community that do want to support it, but you have it split. Right where the ecosystem dev team are like, no, you, we don't want this out there and we think it's a scam and you call it a scam. Well, now 80% of the community says no, 20% of the community says yes. And then you have to kind of fight for that 80% when. Exactly. So I think the community was also very diverse. Like it was very toxic environment for a lot of people. Like that was the big problem. Like a lot of people didn't want to stay in, in with the, with the project so far. Like, why would they? There was no point for them. And I think that's where, like, the real possibility came out. Every single day, you're like, no, 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 no. So it's creating a, a very, very difficult um, path for you moving forward. Now that 20% has dwindled down to 18, has dwindled down to 15, has dwindled down to 10, because the community doesn't have the support for those things. Even things like Shibburn, who is just going out of their way to display every single burn to uh, display a website. So yeah, they like all the people that were developing the Shiba Inu like back end, they didn't get much support. And I kind of agree with that. And I know a lot of people, they left the community. Some people got even the bag and they just left. And Matthew Perry makes a very strong message here. He talks what he wants to, to talk about. He talks about the community first. He doesn't care about other things other than the community. And that's the big important factor. Like if the community is fine, everything else is fine. If the community is not fine, well, that's a big problem, right? So this is the, the big, big problem um, over here that we are seeing with, with, with crypto, with everything that's going on right now. So I'll keep you guys updated. If we would have seen every single aspect of what they... So Journey Crypto doesn't post a lot, but when he does, he actually makes major warnings for crypto industry and things to watch out in crypto. And there's one big thing that really caught attention for a lot of people in that sense. So... What do you guys think about this right now? It does seem like crypto is going up. It is improving. Um, it is seeing some slight changes, but that means a lot of people are coming into crypto and they're seeing some terrible, terrible mistakes people make. Another video. So we had a crazy week in the crypto and NFT space. Uh, Look some... at this puppy out behind. This looks so, so good. Like his setup is awesome. Huge things happen. A couple huge announcements, uh, some very bullish things for the uh, upcoming bull market. And then we did have a couple major hacks as well, which I do want to cover. I have a couple tips for you guys to avoid future hacks and exploits like this. Very simple to do. So uh, be sure you do check that out. 
uh even some of the veterans in this space did fall victim exactly so don't feel bad if you get like hacked for 1k or something because it happened even to like people who've been 15 years in crypto now what we're seeing is you know the hackers are getting so sophisticated they're making unlimited types of money by even getting the big whales the big holders and i think that's the very exciting factor people are seeing like like right now that's what people are afraid about really um in in a sense like how far can they go you know how far can they go and where will they go um in that sense so it does make me question like what is gonna happen next where is it gonna happen and who's gonna be affected in that matter them to these hacks because it's stuff you really don't think about uh, approvals they set on their wallet uh, even a couple years ago. So uh, I think there was 33 board apes that were stolen. 33 board apes, that's a lot. And it actually makes you question like how rich are these people? And like these hackers must be pretty much rich. The avalanche of Pudgy World, Pudgy World invites Pudgy World, NFT's owner of Pudgy Toys. I guess NFTs are becoming like next level or something. Like this is insane to me. Uh, but sure. If it works, it works, you know, and that's the big difference about it. Like, are NFTs coming back? I don't know. Probably not. Ton of more exposure to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency overall, bringing a ton more people into the space is bullish on top of the Bitcoin. Yeah. Anyone that comes back to crypto, that's the big thing. Like anyone that's coming back right now in crypto is people are saying he's pretty early. Like we are, we don't know for sure, but it's definitely a good sign in a sense. Having and the other major events we're going to be uh have happening throughout 2024 uh so number five here this is funny uh president donald trump launched his third nft collection mugshot edition so this is the thing i don't think i think he launches that i think there's like a marketing team that he has or something like that and he gets commission on that and so this is not his first nft set this is he has three nft collections so far so these are uh trump trading cards and I think this round he's doing a hundred thousand at a hundred dollars per card, raising ten million dollars. And uh, this one is so that's insane to me. Like, how much money are they actually making? They're making insane amounts of money, and that's the big thing about it. Like, people don't really realize that Trump is probably making a bank in that sense. He's making a bank in a long shot just from selling these type of nfts um and that's what's really uh crazy to me if you ask me like who's buying all this i guess everyone wants to turn a profit it's based on the mugshot uh, he's actually including a small piece of the suit that he wore during the mugshot on the physical cards that you can get through having the nft versions so uh donald trump is running for president 2024 he i guess anything that makes profit right or because there's an upcoming presidency this could also be a factor why people are coming through and actually buying these so there's multiple scenarios of what exactly is going on in this crypto space and why people are buying these but it makes me consider like you definitely got to be careful what you buy um especially with so nft many nfts around here Bitcoin. So pretty huge sale. We're actually starting to see huge sales like this happen quite often again, uh, which is very bullish overall. Uh, as the crypto space is picking up, it's uh, pretty obvious the NFT space is going to follow with that. So uh, ne next here we have SEC Gary Gensler stated the SEC is taking another look at their previous rejections of spots, uh, Bitcoin ETF applications. This comes after recent court ruling that uh, instructed the SEC to provide more. So this is the one of the biggest news that we had this year, actually. One of the things that people were seriously excited about, were talking about all the time. They couldn't stop talking about it in a sense. And I think here is where like people can often get confused what exactly happened with this. And SEC, Garrett, like this is still go ongoing and it's going to take us long, long process because all like government stuff, it takes a time. But this is um, 500k got drained and you got to be careful especially in crypto, like with so much no regulation at all. I think that's what people are really worried about right now, like in a sense, like why they aren't coming into crypto. Uh, and it's not that bad of a thing. Like what I'm seeing is crypto is going to probably recover. But if we're going to be seeing stuff like this, well, I don't know what will really 
happen. You know, I don't know where crypto will go, how it, how it will perform, because uh, people are definitely too afraid right now of the crypto markets if this keeps on happening and they're not going to stay in the crypto for the long run in that sense like that's the big problem I, I see with crypto right now but this could be tend to change this could definitely tend to change uh with nft trader so uh, a lot of people use nft trader even up to a couple years ago to make so this is pretty good so board the 36 8 yacht club and 18 year 8 yacht were, were stolen and now they were made whole so this is probably good news like for the nft space journey crypto has been pretty much into crypto a long time and this is the good factor like here this is what we are we're seeing basically so um does seem like there's good news in that not really bad news in that sense so Definitely some good news ahead uh, for crypto markets. Be sure to smash that like button. Peace, everyone. Seems like Bonk returned and that's the big factor about it. Like Bonk is still here. It never went away. If you guys want more content like this, smash that like button and I'll keep you guys updated because we do have a lot more news incoming in the following days for the crypto and you don't want to miss this out. So let's take a look at Bonk and why it's up so much. 1.3 billion market. And I definitely said it's like just getting started. 2 billion is nothing. Like just look at Doge, it's like 16 billion. And here's where the big difference is, like where a lot of people stay with Bonk because it has a lot of potential. Like it's still under tapped compared to like SHIB and compared to Doge and compared to 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 SNCC or or all these different type of meme coins. Out. But all of a sudden, we just have another billion flowing into the Bonk token all of a sudden. And I've been trying to warn people about this, but another thing I want to share with people before we go. So yeah, it seems like a huge money uh, factor just pumped in. Cryptolution actually made a huge prediction on this. Go to the charting and analysis is some up-to-date news of what's going on with the token, such as that since this token's gone up 16%, look at the cryptocurrency market. It's in the red. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because the Bonk token is doing what meme coins do. They rally for no reason. Why? Because mainly it's a community thing. It's all about having fun. So yeah, this is a very fair point. Like, there's reasons why great projects are actually not doing that well. And... There's reasons why terrible projects are actually pumping a lot. And that is because a lot of people just buy it for the hype, just buy it for the memes. And here's where I think the big price factor really does come in, in that sense. Like, yeah, sure, you can have a great time. You can have a good time um, in crypto, but and you can find great projects, but they might not make you that much money in a sense. But let's keep let's keep watching and see what exactly happens in in for that like i'm definitely excited so i'll keep you guys um updated with that more so it does seem like crypto is getting started in a sense like there is going to be a lot more improvements in the following few days and i do think crypto could be seeing another big big bull run so that being said, uh, let's keep tuned. So yeah, definitely more info on that. And some people like, say for instance, Crypto Banter, who is another YouTube influencer, he said that- So did 200X in two months, is this beginning or an end? So that's a good question. Like a lot of people just joined Bonk. Will they stay or will they pay per hand? And the community has the entire decision where crypto will go. Like that's the main thing. The community can decide if it's gonna go up or down. No one else. And I think that's the so inspirational in that sense. Like nobody else will be able to say, I want crypto to go up or I want crypto to go down. Um, and I do think it's a big, big factor uh, looking at all these different type of plays really with Bonk. Bong had done 200x in the past two months. Now, is this the beginning or the end? So let's go ahead and talk about if this is the beginning or the end. Because again, we do have TradingView who created this article talking about the Bong token, right? So TradingView shared an article. So yeah, Bong outpaces Pepe with 600% surge. It's one of those new coins, secures third place in meme coin buy. market. So it seems like it outperformed great Pepe. About the like, but Pepe is the one that really brought crypto back together on all its feet. Like Pepe is one of those that really keeps people hyped, really keeps people talking in a sense. And I find that exciting really um, for Pepe. So that being said, 
does seem like uh, Bonk is gonna be going up in the near future a bit more. So that, like, awesome stuff overall. Like, still awesome stuff um, I'm seeing for Bonk. And I don't think it's definitely over. So I do, will keep you guys updated on that a bit more. And yeah, let's keep it tuned. This article is that it introduced that in December 25th of 2022, the market cap of this actual token is roughly around $1.21 million. And you think to yourself at that moment, there's no way this meme coin. Exactly. And the same thing I was thinking, uh, is Bond going to be growing up even more? Is it going to be even rising if it already saw a huge price gain? And it seems like it did. It seems like people are still flocking back to Bonk. Things like my Bonk videos are still getting the attention they deserve. And will ever reach into the billions or even hundreds of millions. Yet it did within a span of two months. It same was called for Pepe. Same was called for a ship. This can't get any higher. It's a bad coin. It's, it's the worst. Why would I buy this? And I guess you have your answer here. Like people buy all sorts of things. Now we're hovering around $1.4 billion. That's how meme coins work. So I'm not going to waste any time. Where is this token going? So as you can see here, we saw that this token did a retracement like we talk about in all of our videos that we needed to expect this retracement. And guess what? We bounced off of the EMA ribbon, which is this right here. And now we're seeing another large green candlestick. Again, I keep talking about this in our videos. We're not seeing enough sell pressure right here. Look at the sell pressure. It's very mi Exactly. So the people that are now in Bong, they're really just holding Bong for the long term. And that's where I think the big factor comes in for bonk holders. Like people are saying it's going to crash, but who really sells? Nobody's going to sell. Animal compared to the buy pressure. And so right now there are people who possibly bought in right around here. So yeah, there's big whales that sold at the top when Binance got listed. And four hourly time. But there's also like big whales who will probably not sell at any point, any given time. Why would they like, or they just forgot that bonk is worth a lot. Like, I think that's the big difference with Bonk and all these tokens is we fail to realize there's a lot of crypto opportunity out there. Um, and Bonk might just be one of those bigger players. So that's what I'm really, really excited about, about Bonk. Um, but uh, there's so many possibilities for, for these tokens. You see how the price volatility is. So when you look at the RSI, which is the relative strength index, it has always continued to be in an uptrend, meaning there is always activity, renewed activity within this token. So that's why I want to share this with you. And I brought this up on our Patreon page. And the reason I brought this up is because I, people were asking me, is Bonk dead? Is it going to? So that's a very good question. Like, is Bonk dead? And I would say possibly no. Like, I really do believe there will be another strong rally. It's the third largest meme coin on coin market cap. So he shared this for free, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I stand that the token will flip Shiba Inu market cap of 5 billion. When it will be, I don't know. If I knew, I'd be retired by now. But this retractment is necessary from having over 200% bull run. So the whales are obviously going to sell when they have tons of money. Um, and I think this makes a fair point. Like, it does make a fair point. If you have crypto, you're probably going to sell in that sense and it does make sense in a way like everyone that sells is probably gonna sell um and i'm not too worried about that like i definitely do think there is uh more possibilities for bonk to go up but it depends when and how now that's the big question when if and how like when Will it go up? How will it go up? Uh, I definitely do think this is where people start to ask themselves, like, will Bonk go up or will it not go up? So to zero. And I share this with my members around how this is crazy. When you look at the actual charting analysis, it actually hasn't pulled back that much. So don't fall for when people say it's going to zero or sell everything now. Those are what we call emotional traders. So what's the difference? The difference is, if you're not having fun, then you're an emotional trader. If you're not having fun in investing in these meme coins, then you're overexposed. That means you've bet too much and you're now becoming an emotional trader. You have to figure out what's a comfortable entry point, a comfortable amount of funds that you feel will not damage you and put you out of business, put you in. So yeah, exactly. Not like looking at the charts every single day. I think this is where a lot of people make that mistake. Like, damn, I shouldn't have put that much money in why did you do that in the first place and that's the good question people have right now with these meme coins 
like they end up buying such a large amount in a sense uh and it's it's definitely worrying like i definitely do think crypto is gonna be improving in the next few days um so that's where i'm actually excited to hear more about all these meme coins and all these meme coin potential in debt or make sure that you spend all your savings don't do any of those things you have to spend responsibly exactly this applies to all life like if you have high expenses and high wage you will live paycheck to paycheck but a lot of people that hold bonk a lot of these billionaire whales they probably don't even realize they have bonk they have like three million dollars of bonk they don't even realize that. And I think that's the crazy part about it. Um, and I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see more about that, like where we could be going in the next few days on that. So that being said, does seem like there's a ton of more potential for Bonk in the following days. So only have a little bit of exposure if you do want to take on that risk. Because again, this is a meme coin. They very much don't. Yeah, so it, they highly depend on the market. When the market hits bad, Meme coins are the first to go. Be sure to uh, smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Peace, everyone.